Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm doing a guide for Balome. This is the second fight against this guy. He is hanging out in his own lair. So essentially my strategy for this fight is to use Geno Boost and I'm just going to whack away at the boss. As you can tell right there with that first attack, I did uh, 348 damage. Um, I'm sure some of that is boosted by the uh, chain bonus. But yeah, nonetheless, like, Mario's damage is just so dramatically high. Both him and uh, Gino, actually, I have pretty high um, attack with. Um, also, I am wearing accessories that make me immune to going to sleep. Uh, not something I realized I needed at first, but yeah, this boss, like, almost all of his attacks can put you to sleep, so it's a pretty good idea to, uh, have accessories to protect from that. And then, yeah, once, um, you do some attacks into the boss, he is going to eat one of your teammates and turn them into a clone. So this time he is going to target Gino, and I'm going to try to quickly get rid of that because yeah the clones um they're a bit annoying they can do um some pretty annoying things so just getting rid of them as fast as possible is generally the uh, way to go about it though if you're doing as much damage as I am you could just focus down uh fellow because yeah the uh the fight's already over it <laughs> just it was just a few turns but um yeah, that's definitely how to do the fight if you are just trying to finish it as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show what the uh, different clones look like. Um, and worth noting, because yeah, uh, the reason to fight the Shadow Clones, like on purpose, is that you're trying to complete the monster list. If you do not at least see the enemies, you're not going to be able to get the... Um, Get the thought peaks you're not going to be able to get the check marks because yeah you need to at least see the enemies so um very worth noting when it comes to uh getting all of these little uh balome clones is you need to attack the boss <laughs> odd as that sounds right because um i definitely had a uh, a little bit of trouble trying to figure that out because um, the very first time I fought this boss, because I fight these bosses multiple times when I do these videos. But yeah, the first time I fought this boss, I didn't realize that this is like essentially a like type of counter or like AI behavior. Um, the boss, uh, so yeah, when I got the boss to like low health, I was like, oh, I've only seen a couple of the clones. Let me get the rest. And so, and the boss was already at low HP. So I was like, oh, I'll just guard you know, and uh, get those out. But no, you have to attack the boss. The boss um, does this not immediately, it's usually the turn after. But yeah, after you've dealt damage to the boss, which can be from attacking the clone and doing the wide AE damage from perfect um, command action timing, uh, that counts too. But yeah, you have to attack the boss. So uh, Gino over here, he shoots his little rocket fist and he summons these little uh, fire rocks, these meteors, the flamestone specifically, um, but he's not really doing too much damage. Um, obviously it depends on like what equipment you're wearing, what level you are. But yeah, uh, Gino's not too big of a deal. Um, I'm sure y'all saw, uh, Malo earlier. Malo has the lowest HP, I believe. It's either him or Peach. But yeah, Malo, I tried to like not knock him down in one hit, but unfortunately, I did accidentally knock out the Malo clone before I was able to get my uh, thought peek in on him. Um, the Mario clone um, is pretty straightforward. He's just going to do his regular attacks and jump. He's going to go for that uh, jump special, just a normal one. Uh, he has a decent amount of HP. Um, his damage is uh, a little bit higher compared to um, uh, Gino, but... Uh, Oh yeah, and his defense, Mario's defense, is actually pretty good. Um, I assume this is based on, um, like, obviously he has more HP than I do, but I think their stats are similar to uh, what our stats are going to be. And um, again, uh, as I was pointing out before, uh, Bellum, like, almost all of his attacks are going to put you to sleep. I didn't have the accessories all on, except for Mario in uh, this section just so I can like, you know, show that off. But yeah, 
uh, very much you do want to have those accessories. It makes things quite a bit easier. But yeah, um, you can see here, I was like strategically switching my party members in and out so that I could get the clones. Because obviously, while Gino is like pretty powerful with like Gino boost and stuff like that, I once I had him get his clone out, bam, we, we take Gino out. He doesn't need to be there anymore. And then, yeah, right here as well, like, Peach has gotten hers. I've gotten the one with Mario. Um, I didn't get the Thought Peak on Malo, so I'm trying to get that again. So, yeah, make sure you're switching your characters in and out. Uh, Princess Peach is definitely one of the chillest clones. You don't need to worry about her. Because, yeah, she has, like, her standard attack, which is very low damage. Um, and then also, she heals herself. But... Her HP is so low that she's generally healing herself when she's already at full HP. So, optimally, if you're, you know, not trying to go for Shadow Clones, you're just trying to beat Bellum, but you're worried about what the clones will do to you, I would say the best clone or the best party members to have with you would probably be Malo and Peach. Because, um, again, they can be defeated very easily, and uh, Peach just heals herself. Um, Malo is actually, like, he does actually kind of go in a little bit, like, uh, because Malo will use his, uh, magic, which can be a little tricky to time the block for, and his damage is actually kind of respectable, but, um, be that as it may, um, again, his HP being so low, I think, uh, makes up for it in comparison to the, uh, other clones. And then, yeah, the final one that I did need to get was, uh, Bowser's. Uh, Bowser, um, his damage isn't really all that bad. It's really just, um, he has, uh, quite a bit of HP. Yeah, at 300, he has the highest HP of all the clones. So, um, not exactly the one that you, uh, want to, want to go against. And then, yeah, there's Aurora Flash. Just like all of Bellum's attacks, they all put to sleep. Because, yeah, the, the Flash, the giant bubble, like, oh, and he also uses, uh, Lullaby. So yeah, he has like three different moves that all put you to sleep. Um, accidentally did too many uh, thought peaks there. I must have gotten a little bit confused. It was it was a lot of turns. <laughs> it was a lot of turns, and I definitely wanted to make sure that I uh, got that done right. So yeah, there's the bolt. Um, Cause yeah, it's not just that bolt. I think there's a different action, uh, a different spell that Malo can use as well. And yeah, right here. We are all big sleepy. HP is real low. Um, I tried to use the healing special gauge attack, but you can't actually use that if your teammates are asleep. So instead I get the uh, Toad Lucky Star, which is like, oh yeah, your action commands are gonna work, but it's like, I don't know, <laughs> my action commands, um, I'm pretty good at that. So that's basically, I got nothing. But yeah, right here, um, trying to use the snow attack to hit everybody. Um, it is Bowser's weakness, but, uh, the Malo clone was actually immune to it. And then, yeah, there, there was the other, uh, thunder attack from Malo. Which, yeah, I was able to get the, uh, timing on that. But, um, it is a bit tricky. But, uh, yeah, that right there is, um, getting all of the clones. Which, again, isn't necessary. Completely optional. But... If you get all of the clones, that is good for completing the monster list. And speaking of that, there is an optional boss in this area. Um, it starts off like it's th just that little cloud um, that shows up in that room. It is um, completely RNG. <clears throat> it will not always be there, so you kind of need to go in and out. And it will show up eventually. That first form is immune to physical attacks, so you need to use a magical spell. But then after that, um, the boss is pretty resistant to magic. So you're going to want to use just your physical attacks. Though you do need to be careful because um, the physical attacks, like there's a pretty high evasion rate from the boss. But, you know, don't let that worry you too much as long as you're on top of your healing, then you'll be fine. Uh, right here, I do lose um, Bowser here, so I'm going to switch on over to Princess Peach and use the uh, comeback spell. Uh, mind you, you do need to be 
I think it's like level 12 or 13 for this, something like that. It's pretty up there. But uh, if you don't have that, you know, obviously you can just use the pick me up. But uh, yeah, this boss has a lot of spells that I can't block. So really, you just want to be healing as much as you can, because if you're at low HP, you can't block, and he wipes all three of you, that's that's a game over. <laughs> and you know, your, your uh, fight's over. Oh yeah, do make sure you get both Thought Peaks, because the Formless form uh, is one uh, section of the monster list, and then the uh, full form, like Gas Ox or whatever his name is, is a second one. But uh, yeah. That's going to be my guide. Hopefully y'all found this useful. Uh, if so, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.